Hey tech freaks from across the world. Welcome to my channel Tech Store. Before starting to watch this video, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Do not forget to like, share and comment our videos. Thank you so much guys. Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest uh, Acer Extensa 3 series of laptops. This is the business class commercial laptops from Acer, and we have it hands-on with us. So before buying this laptop, you need to watch this video. We'll also show you how to disassemble and upgrade the RAM, hard drive, SSD, and battery, and all the replacement that you could want to do before uh, buying the laptop. So let's do it. Now your laptop might be a Pentium Silver or a Core i3 or a Celeron or a Ryzen 3 or a Ryzen 5. They will all look the same if it is a black color and will have the same process as we're going to show you now in the terms of disassembly and the RAM upgradation and the components upgradation. So the black color here is having a, a polycarbonate body, completely polycarbonate and uh, has got this matte finish. It's a little textured if you would ask me. So when you roll down your hands here, you will feel that little texture uh, of plastic over the top so once you open uh, you have two sided nano bezel and you have a HD screen here the higher end versions of Core i3 and Core i5 might have a full HD but the entry level Pentiums are having normal HD screen only and the screen is not at all IPS it is a TN panel screen that Acer has integrated it has got a web camera and a dual array microphone we will show you the webcam test also the keyboard is uh, as always uh, pathetic Acer generally does not have good keyboards so don't buy the laptop for the keyboard this is the way the keyboard looks like and it is not backlit keyboard the power button is again integrated inside the keyboard itself the inner also has got the same black finish that is there on the top. No difference in the color, no difference in the texture whatsoever. And uh, it has got a squarish uh, unipad, a multi-gesture touchpad. It comes preloaded with uh, Windows 11. On the left, we have a charging pin and uh, Ethernet, full Ethernet, 10 bar, 100 bar, 1000 Mbps. Full HDMI port, a USB 2.0 port and a USB 3.0 port. It's not very slim, but uh, at this given price point of around 30,000 rupees here in India, it's quite slim. Front also there are no IOs whatsoever. On the right uh, you have a headphone mic combi, you have a USB 2.0 port, you have a power indicator and you have a battery indicator and you have a Kensington lock. And the design seems to continue, no difference in the color whatsoever. Even in the rear there are no IOs uh, and the heat dissipation vent area is again hidden by the display panel. So the base uh, is having a grippy feel if you ask me. It's got this grippy texture so that it does not uh, slid when you are keeping the laptop. Even the rudders are quite nicely placed. Although the area perforated is very small here for heat dissipation, the entry level Pentiums one do not have a heat sink per se. The speaker grill is based on the base. There are down firing speakers left and right. So let's uh, dig deep into the laptop and check uh, how you can upgrade this particular laptop's uh, different components. So this is the video shot uh, from the web camera of the Acer Extensa. And I can tell you, it's one of the most pathetic cameras that I've come across. Horrible quality, it's 480p uh, is the resolution that it shares, but absolutely pathetic. So don't take this uh, laptop for the web camera. And uh, sound quality is okay, the mic capture is good because of dual array, but video is bad. Now let's have a look at the audio quality of the SRX sensor. The audio quality is uh, not all that great as expected uh, in this entry level uh, laptop. The sound meter shows up to 75 uh, at the peak and uh, it's not at all having uh, bass to be precise. The, the, the audio is very tinny if you ask me, there is no bass here. Uh, it's not all that loud also but uh, somehow the speaker does not impress me whatsoever so thumbs down on the speakers here. So let's have a look at the hinge stability test, uh, can it open with one hand operation? Nope. It stutters and uh, I think uh, you should immediately get the hinges calibrated as soon as you buy the laptop and make them a little loose so that they open with one hand operation. That should be the benchmark whenever you are taking a laptop.
first thing first we need to flip the laptop and okay. we need to remove all the screws that are visible over here but first we need to remove this particular uh, stickering that is there this is a warranty wide sticker which you have to remove very very carefully just have a look at this Keep it here. Take a star screwdriver and start removing all the screws over here. The hinges to start with. The left and right screws are the longer ones and uh, the center ones are the shorter ones. So keep them appropriately. Don't mismatch the screws. They're all the same screws. So these entire screw sets are absolutely same. So there's no difference in the screws. You can be rest assured, you can keep all of these together. Now take a triangular prior like this and start protruding from the sides. Once you get a little head away, just run the entire prior through the base so that the entire base is out. Once you're done with this, just very slowly remove the base out and the base is visible. So you can see this is the hard drive, this is the battery, processor fan, Wi-Fi chip, this is the processor area which does not have a heat sink but there is fan so that's a good thing. Many of the Pentium and Celerons do not have fan with it. This is the RAM bay area, this is M.2 SSD slot and this is the CMOS cell and this is the motherboard and this is the daughter board. This is the speaker connector over here connecting the speaker completely. So let's start with the battery first. Let's remove the screws. Only two screws of the battery need to be removed and they need to remove this particular tape that is there and need to remove the connector and you can remove the battery very comfortably. So the battery power ratings are 7.6 volts and uh, 4870 mAh that is a 37 watt hour battery this battery is and if you want to replace you need to buy a Acer AP16M4J battery a similar battery. So all of you guys who want to just replace the battery this is what you need to do just take a battery and put it back and uh, you are ready for the laptop. Now coming to the SSD area over here, you need to buy a M.22280 SSD, NVMe SSD Gen 3, that is what it supports at the max and you can just take the SSD and uh, put it over here like this and it fits fine. You just need to use one of the screws that are there on the motherboard, maybe the hard drive screws and uh, put it over here. So one screw gone will not make a lot of difference but uh, you need to put a screw to this particular uh, SSD. So take a M.2 up to 1 terabyte NVMe SSD you can install, 256 GB, 512 GB or 1 terabyte you can install over here. Now coming to the part where the RAM bay is, uh, this particular laptop has got a soldered memory. It's got 4 GB DDR4, 2400 megahertz soldered onto it. So you can install another uh, 2400 megahertz DDR4 low voltage RAM, 4 GB, 8 GB or 16 GB. That is a max that this particular laptop will support. So the total RAM upgrade capacity of this laptop is around 30, 20 GB. It will not upgrade anything beyond 20 GB. 16 GB you can put on this uh, board and uh, 4 GB is already onboarded. So total 20 GB is the max that it will support. Just take a RAM like this and uh, you can insert the RAM and press it and the RAM is upgraded. Advisably for the read write uh, dual data rate to work precisely you need to have another 4 GB max installed but in a scenario you have an application that requires you to have 16 GB or 8 GB then you can install 8 GB or 16 GB on this particular DIMM slot. Now coming to the part where the hard drive is, uh, so the extensor models that come along with the hard drive, uh, please note that uh, there will be this particular connector which is there in the hard drive. There are models which are only with SSD where the SSD is already installed, the hard disk is not installed. So the hard disk connector is there uh, by the company given inside itself. So once you open the connector will be visible over here. So let's check out the hard drive part, just need to remove this connector which is connecting the daughter board, keep it aside and you need to remove all the screws that are there over here. So once you remove these uh, hard drive screws and then you need to remove this particular connector over here, just remove it, the strip will come out and then you can remove the hard drive like this. So you can upgrade up to 2 terabyte uh, HDD or SSD, 2.5 slim SAT SSD or hard drive you need to install on this particular thing. Now you need to again remove one, two, three and four screws so that the metal casing is out and uh, this particular connector has to be removed like this. 
So in a scenario there is uh, no hard drive present, you just need to take a hard drive and uh, you just need to install the connector like this and uh, you're good to go. So we just did a design uh, rectification here instead of the cable coming over the hard drive we have made it go below the hard drive. We just put the screws back and just need to put the connector back over here and just press the connector. So remember the extensors that are coming with core i3, core i5 will not have this kind of a small sink. They will be having a much bigger sink and uh, the fan it will be connected to. But for this it's a low power uh, processor so it is not having a sink per se. So if you want to replace the fan you need to remove this one and two screws. These screws will come out and you need to remove this one connector and you can replace this particular fan. This is the VGA connector, the display cable connector. So in a scenario your laptop display is not coming, just remove it and again disconnect it at times it works. You can utilize this. So if you want to replace the CMOS cell, just need to remove this particular connector over here. And the CMOS cell is a CR2032 cell. Take a similar cell available on our website and in the market and just need to replace it with this particular CMOS cell. The speaker over here is connected to this one connector. Need to remove this connector here and the entire speaker wiring is very much uh, screw free. Just need to remove this entire assembly of the speakers and you can replace the speakers. So we'll start uh, putting the things back, the battery and the base. Take the battery and uh, just have a look at how it is being placed. It goes into these notches over here and then uh, you need to put the screws, put the connector back. connector is fitted back. Let's take the base. So the operation is completed once this has been put back. I don't know why Acer does it, but no other company does it. Acer is the only one which does it. So this my friends was a video showing you the Acer Extensor 3 series of laptops and uh, the webcam is pathetic as I've already, already told. Even the keyboard quality is not great. But at the given price point of uh, 30,000 rupees here in India, it starts with and Core i3 and Core i5 variants go up to 50, 55,000 rupees. This is quite a reasonably priced laptop here in India. This is 2022 and the prices have all gone up since the past one and a half, two years. So if you are looking at an affordable laptop that you would want to buy and use it for your normal usage, then you need to buy this. You have to install a SSD come what may. Without the SSD installed, your laptop will be dead meat. It will not be of the speed that you would want it to be. And a uh, lot of lag and uh, the multitasking will not be great. So install an SSD as soon as you take this or take a laptop that is coming with SSD. The screen is again TN panel. It is not having an IPS panel. So bad quality screens. The viewing angles are also not that great. The speaker quality is okay-ish. It is not great again. Uh, don't expect a lot of speaker and video and all those things in this kind of a laptop. There are full ports uh, that have been given, the HDMI is full port, the USB is also two USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0 but C type port uh, would have been desired in this uh, current technological scene. A C type is a minimum that you would look at in a laptop. Hope you liked the video guys, uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Remember we take a lot of pain to produce these videos free of cost and we require you to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. We will reply only if you subscribe to our videos. Thank you.